All right, let's pick up where we left off, shall we? Chapter two. How many people are dead now? Like all of them? <sighs> Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. Nothing to say. I'm detecting a theme. Nothing to say. Ah, hey, we got a coin. Hell yeah. Oh my god, we have 88 Kuma coins. Hell yeah. So that's how we're going to be able to afford everything. Is because we're going to be... We get so many coins just for winning. Oh, we can go in the bathroom. Oh, it's clean. It's gone. She... She really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. No coin. After the class trial, before we took Gatlin back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling face is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. No. No. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke. A sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Sorry. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, come on. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. Must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there, with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Mm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel better? Oh. Yes. Huh? We're already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone can betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because S Sayaka made the first move. But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Oh. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. <laughs> Working together, fighting a common enemy, like it or not, it's not that simple. Um, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended. They modified it to fit their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then, what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. No. What? No what? I, I don't want I to live. Take it. If it means killing someone else, then do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. What? If we hadn't have voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? This isn't what you wanted, is it? She's right. If you keep that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not even Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happening. That's happened. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened to us if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Bong. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Cool. As such, it is officially nighttime. Nighttime. 
soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one Lucius. other thing. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. Oh. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So God be damn well the bear puns. Of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then. Sweet <laughs> dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Love it. It's like, I see you guys are trying to make yourself feel better and, you know, not take the blame for this. But it's totally your fault. Your friend is dead, and you gotta witness his brutal, f fledgling murder. Okay, that is all. Yeah. <laughs> Why was that just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. With me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? <laughs> the silent protagonist. And so the day drew to a close, a tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. Leon. Leon? The fuck? Who be Leon here? Super Saiyan Leon. <clears throat> but this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Boy's life of despair. Okay. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear. But Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. <laughs> of course, Ida is, you know, doing it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. <sighs> ah, doesn't this feel just great? Being stuck inside like this, you gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah! Wow, I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I, ju am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? so why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you'll uncover the secret of the Assassin's Fist. Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness, the power can be yours. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter, just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... <laughs> of course not! You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then. Hmm. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world? This ain't a land, kid. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. You got, I gotta keep you motivated. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But a new world? Is he talking about a way to get outside? That seems... Unlikely. Piece of shit. Well, we don't know till we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall. We'll share what we found. You're basically a one-trick pony. You know that. More like a staple, f a, st a staple food source. You mean a stable? Well, staple food source. I guess that also makes sense. I would say stable would be. I don't know. Now let's hear about it. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Scatter! Nothing new here. Nothing new there. It's all the same.
Hey, Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad! This is super bad, man! What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. Sure, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap! Serious. That stuff you see lined up there? Any god could come by and use it to send a message, huh? Uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin! I got smart! I'm going to die! I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Trophies and other items. Yeah. Hey, you got any coins for me? Nope. Gotta collect them all. Hey! Told you. Always gotta look. My dudes. Ding, ding. Aha, so the second floor is open now. What? Oh, I couldn't go there. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been open. Is this what Monokuma meant by a whole new world? If so, what's up there? I didn't want to go up there yet. Fuck. This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. What do we have here? We've got the pool. We got a classroom. We got a library, a study room, and another classroom. We'll come by in a second. I want to explore downstairs first. Gotta get the rest. I should look around the skull first. I should look around the skull first. Fuck. Well, let's talk to everybody else first. Fuck. Are they seriously gonna cock block me? Yo. I went and checked the metal hatch in the main hall just to be sure, but just like I figured, it hasn't moved an inch. Shit. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you made things that easy for us. Hey! Don't make that face. You look like a pussy. You want me to put some fighting spirit in you? Well, do ya? No, thanks. I think I've got yeah. enough for now. Well, okay. I'm gonna look the other way. Look for another way out then. That's the way to the execution grounds. Can I go here? No. Yay. Yay. Ha-ha. Drive-by clicking. Aww, I want in Fuck you, Monokuma. Don't let me do what I want, bitch. I bet Owie is here. That's a gun. Just a oh, Mikado! Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Poo poo poo! You don't have to keep repeating it. Okay. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. That's a gun. Is that a real gun? No, I get where I wear it here. Why would we need something like that here? Yeah, I am curious why there's so many guns, though. Unless it's to prevent guys from going into the girls' bathroom. <laughs> Second floor is open. The living area has grown and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been much more comfortable Do for us. Understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? No, I, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. What? But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have the all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I kind of like to get a little bit stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But we're not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room, huh? I don't even want to go um... in the locker room? It's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? Eh, it's a pretty weird phobia, though. <laughs> this is the girls' locker room? A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? Did I click this already? Yes. I know I did not! Aha! A pool floaty! Click all the buttons. A lifesaver donut. I love donuts and lifesavers. I love a lot of things. Hold on, what's this? Is this some kind of card reader? I wonder what it's for. Behind this door is the locker room? Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker room. Really? Really, really? Hmm. 
If you want to unlock her the locker room, you'll have to swipe your personal handbook across the card reader next uh -huh. to the door. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it'll all be dugga 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 dugga. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Um. Um. Sure, we'll go with hurt. Um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. What happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Huh? That never even occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Mm. Okay, then how's this sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, moment loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. There. So now nobody can give their handbook to anybody else, right? Oh, you like that. I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might be do using the handbook. But you know, you seem awfully connected with all this locker room security stuff. It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs. You're at that age where you try humping a plastic bottle. So to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a vigorous walk. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eyes on our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Oh my god, did he just insinuate that rape is eh, okay? Uh... <laughs> okay, that's not the email I expected to get from my mentor. <laughs> so my mentor is the um, president of the Alumni Association for uh, my law school. I just got an email welcoming me to the Alumni Association. Yeah, no. I'm not gonna participate. I don't like school. I hate you so much. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. Celeste Chihiro, you want to come with me? me? There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, Sorry, so I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. Pretty sure that only applies to you. So can we go in here now? Yes. Seriously? Ugh. <sighs> Now this is an interesting poster. Obviously someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this in here? Let's see, I'm starting for information on the outside world if only there was a TV that worked. Just those two things there. Even a camera in the blocker room. How long am I going to be stuck here being watched by all these cameras? Forever. Makoto. For. -e -ber. Oh, you do this to get closer? Huh? Lockers. Well, I would expect to see that at any normal pool. Hey, we got another coiny. I'm kind of confused at the fact that it's just kind of like... That, that was literally the only thing here. Was that? Oh, wait. Something over here. Okay. Anything... No? Hmm. I'm sure it'll have a reason later, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. Back out. Back out. Back it up! Beep beep, motherfucker! Mother trucker! Back in this bitch up. Can we go in here? Nope. 
<laughs> if I ever took one step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes, and that'd be it for me. Yeah, not even the uh, pervy uh, boy is that bad. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. I wonder, could you just bleach everyone's drinks and then, like, yahoo, you win? I mean, technically you murdered them and you left literally zero evidence. You don't even need... The baby is sleeping, please be quiet. That is kind of creepy, Kuma. This is one of the monitors. If I break it, he might come punish me. Surveillance <laughs> camera, watching every single move we make. Happy movie you make. I'll be watching you. No, it's pointless. I can't stop looking at the clock. Even if the time was wrong, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I really don't like it. Yeah. We rich, boys. We got 94 pennies. Mm, windows. Windows. Haha! -ha! Check everything. Alright, ogre. This must be what he meant by a new world. I should probably take a really close look around. I already have, female. Don't you worry, I am collecting all the pennies. Pretty soon we will have a dollar. Then we can buy ourselves a soda pop. Because I am that person who will save every word. Save. Say every word. It's blocking, so there's still another floor, which means not everything has been open. Right by the library. Let's go check out the classroom first. Why is there a classroom all the way down here is really my question. That's kind of really far out of the way. Reality is everything. What kind of bear is that? That's not cute. No, it's pointless. Can't stop watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything different? Whatever here. Nope, still the same three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Coinage! We'll be in the library soon. Cool. Alright, to the library! Yay! Yay! There we go. Utils. Utils of noodles of utils. That's a lot of things to look at. Shelf packed tight with books. The whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like it's been neglected for a long time. As nice as the school as itself is, whoever's in charge of the upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. Ooh. There's a letter on there. It's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library has been neglected. Look at that! People just leave their coins and everything! Oh, I didn't even see Kirigiri, or whatever your name is. I'm gonna be stuck here watching by all these stupid cameras! Um, okay. Starting for information. Laptop! Looks like a laptop! Laptop looks pretty old and is all covered in dust. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. So how about you use to go online and see what's going on in the outside world? If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, we'll look at that last. Yeah. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. It tends to happen. I'm absolutely shocked! How come? They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works. Well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? Plus, most fanfics is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. You just don't get it. Not it. Oh. I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Now hear this, appearances mean nothing at all. Well, you see, before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. 
My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so full of it. <laughs> I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? These two really worry me. Yeah. They're kind of crazy. But still, this library is most interesting, hmm? What's interesting Stop about talking. it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Fuck you, dude. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention mm -hmm. so far. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult set back? Mm -hmm. Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare me to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. Boy-on-boy? -boy? I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filth. Throw away culture that'll all be trashed and forgotten half a decade. Just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <sighs> you've insulted me, and you've insulted my honor. <sighs> I'm gonna try to remember his voice, but god, my throat. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. But why is he stopping me? What a dick. The shelf is covered in death, but on the shelf is a letter? What's this? Hope's Peak Academy? It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. Uh, okay. I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out this single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From the Hope Peaks Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we've been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope Speak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history, for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. And make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope Speak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Hope Speak had stopped functioning as a school. And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope Speak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online all about the school and never saw anything about so this. In other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. That would be a nice, simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. <laughs> we intend to reopen our doors as soon as the Yeah, whatever. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected... See, I got a th I'm not going to say my theories. Yet. I will say at the end if I was right or wrong, because I don't like being wrong and admitting it. I will admit it, but I will not tell you my opinions. I don't know. Maybe I will. If I'm nice. Uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the Mastermind's motive. Although, I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the Mastermind knows the truth right now. And the Mastermind's motive. If I can figure out why we, they would want to imprison us all here, would that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do is now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. <laughs>